Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shah Basham, And this is um, GMS Quick Hit. And the title of this video is Our Children Shall Have Spiritual Power in the Kingdom, and the Elite Notice. So, anyway, I don't know if you saw this commercial. I saw this, I checked this commercial out a couple of times on you know, regular TV. So I looked it up on YouTube. Um, if you go to Oscar Meyer and you put in Keep It Oscar Laser Eyes, and I'm not going to show you the, you know, you know how YouTube get down. But anyway, let me just do this. This is a little baby. You can see that's a Jake baby. And that's uh, the mother, you would think. And she's bringing over a hot dog and a little baby, which is a girl. And they were the girls, inside joke. She wanted to cook the hot dog. So this next scene she she opens she uses this laser laser from her eyes she focuses it on the plate not hurting the mother and picking up the hot dog and cooking it and then bringing the, the hot dog to her plate so she can eat it and her mother is giving giving her this this look like showing off again that's a, the Esau knows, man. Hey, there's a, there's a series called, um, what is it called? I don't watch, I've watched maybe one episode. Um, was it Raising Dion? And that's a little Jake boy. And his father was played by, uh, uh, what's his name? Michael, uh, Michael B. Jordan. And his father had spiritual power and his son was in, inherited his father's spiritual power. Like I said, some of y'all watch, watch the series. I don't. I watch one episode of it. And I heard other brothers do videos on it. So I can't go into detail of all the characters. But the, the main character is a little boy, which is obviously a Jake, that has spiritual power. But what's funny about the commercial, the mother's looking, looking at it like, oh, showing off again, huh? So let me leave you with one precept. Because Esau knows who we are. Esau knows exactly who we are. They know who they are. They know that they're the Edomites. Okay, Isaiah. 11. Okay, sixth verse. I should start from the first. Key point is in the sixth verse. And this is a future prophecy. This has nothing to do with the small hats going back to the land of Israel. You know, they'll go, Edomites, they'll go to uh, the restored remnant and they'll say, oh, it's the Small heads going back to the land of Israel. Nope. This is yet, this is getting ready to happen very soon. Anyway, let me breeze through it. Okay, righteous reign of the branch. So it says here Isaiah 9 and 1. Or Isaiah 9, 1 to 7. Isaiah 9, nevertheless, nevertheless the, di the dimness shall not be such as was in her vexation. When at the first he lightly afflicted the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, two of the tribes, and afterward did more gloriously, uh, uh, grievously afflict her by the way of the sea beyond Jordan. So the Most High is going into 
you know, the fact that he, he dealt with all the tribes. I'm not going to read the whole thing. So here I'm, I'm at the first verse of Isaiah 11. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his root. And ultimately, that's talking about our Lord, who came out of Jesse. David. And the spirit of Yahweh shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of Yahweh. You can't do this unless you have the fear of Yahweh and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of Yahweh. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes. In other words, he's not going to get emotional. Neither reprove after the hearing of his, of his ears. He's not going to get emotional. He's going to judge righteous judgment. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth, which are the Israelites, and he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lip, lips shall he slay the wicked, because ultimately he's going to physically slay the wicked. Uh, it says, uh, the scriptures speak about the brightness of his coming, of his coming. And, and righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins and faithfulness the girdle of his reins. Sixth verse, this is what I wanted. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, which is a goat, and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together and a little child shall lead them. What type of little child? An Israelite child. Because the spirit is going to be working with our children. We're going to be uh, spiritual. We're going to be on a higher level than the rest of the nations. Your men, and I said this in the past, your men shall have spiritual power. Your women shall have spiritual power. And your children shall have spiritual power. When you watch the various installments of the uh, superhero uh, series, movies, a bunch of movies, they always show him when he was a child and how he realized that he had spiritual power, that he was different from any other child. So the same thing applies to our children. Every son that we have, they're going to have spiritual power. And then they're going to grow and they're going to realize that, you know, oh, I, I can make things move. You know, or I can, um, you know, you, you, I can fly or I can, I can do whatever. And this is why, this is one reason why the small hats want to be us so bad because they want the blessings. They know that we're going to get the blessings. Anyway, with that, like I said, I was going to make this short. I'm going to say Shalom.